Welcome back to RX Muscles Iron Road to the Olympia 2019, brought to you by Chemical Warfare. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today's guest is our reigning women's physique Olympia champ, Shanique Grant. Welcome back to the show. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you like that title, huh? Yes, I love it. <laughs> It's a good title I have. I, I, there's a lot of people out there that wish they could be called uh, Olympia champ, and uh, you won that last year rather oh, convincingly. Nice. And, yes. uh, you know, people are. are look, I, I've, I've been saying it since you switched over into physique. I mean, people got pissed at me when I first said it, but, you know, I said, there's no, you know, Shanique will not be beaten once she, you know, finally figures out, you know, the right formula and, and puts it all together. And obviously, you had a couple little hiccups the first two years. Um, yeah. with, with missing the Olympia, not even not not even losing, just missing the Olympia. Yeah. You had an eye problem last year, or two years ago, and obviously everything worked out very good this past year. Well, when you win the Olympia, Shanique, what do you work on for the next year? Because it's hard to do that. You know, all right, I'm champ now. What do I got to do to get better? You know, do I need to be better? Um, so with transitioning from figure to physique, um, it gave me more room to grow. Only because I'm, people see me on Instagram, on social media, and they think I'm this huge person. But in, in person, I'm not, I'm more petite than anything. Yeah. Um, there's more room for me to grow, like my calves, you know, forearms, my triceps. Everything could be more balanced and a little bit bigger. But it takes time. It takes years for someone to really grow that quality muscle. So um, within each off season, I do work on, my back, triceps, um, biceps, calves, forearms, all that, just to make it more more of a balanced physique, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, and you you just turned 24 years old, so it's it's not like you've been doing this a long time. You know, you're yeah. very. I remember when you were 19 and you were posting pictures, the figure pictures up on your uh, Facebook, and people were like, "This girl's not figure. She's huge," <laughs> you know. And you really weren't that big. You just have great proportion, obviously. Yeah. Um, with with um, figure, a lot of people were telling me about physique, and I was just so I was so shy. I wasn't ready. I was like, I have to do a hard routine on stage. I can't do that. And like, just getting into the industry itself was a big jump. So then, like, physique was another big jump. But it's all about jumping out of your comfort zone, and that's where I went. I'm really happy. So happy. <laughs> now, you when you were competing in figure, what did you weigh on stage? Um, I was one. I was 135 on okay. stage. And how tall are you? 5'7". Okay. And now that you're in physique, what do you think you'll get on stage at this year at the Olympia? Um, I'll probably be around like 154, 155. Oh, so that, that's 20 pounds different. That, that is very, that's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> I that's get up to jump. like 175 in the off season. But oh, really? Wow. Yeah. You hold track. it so well, though. It doesn't. It doesn't even look like you're that big because your waist is so teeny. You know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's great. Now you're living in Vegas now, right? When did you move out there? Vegas. I feel like like a lot of people around my age, they don't like to experience the world. As in, move here, experience, see what you can actually accomplish here, or move to a different location. Just like explore the world. I've lived in Chicago. I started. Um, I was living in New Jersey for most of my life. And yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Overall, in New Jersey, I was living with my mom, and you know, it was time to actually like move and and try to do more in life. And Chicago was great. I met I met a lot of new people, um, gained a good amount of fans out there, and they mm. still cheer me on um, now that I'm in Vegas. In Vegas, I know is where you got Jay Cutler, you have Iris Kyle, you have um, Dennis Wolf, you have a lot of champions out here and it's really motivating mm -hmm. it's um it's a very fitness oriented area of vegas and of course especially the olympias out here too yeah. um and it's like summer all year round i love it out here <laughs> now let me ask you this question it's funny you mentioned iris cox i noticed i saw a pic iris was, was speaking very favorably about you the other day um what what's your um how did how do you and iris mesh because iris was kind of a misunderstood Miss Olympia, I was always the guy who was like bragging about her too to the world because I thought she had just an amazing physique. She won 10 Miss Olympias. Obviously, yeah. she's got a lot of wisdom that you could probably learn from. What, what's your relationship with her and, and, and what's your take from Iris? I mean, have you gotten a lot, a lot of good ideas about how to deal with you know, what you're doing at this point at the um, Olympia level? 
ever since I joined City Athletic Club, um, she's pretty much taken me under her wing. Yeah. She's like a big sister, like a mother to me, and we <laughs> we bonded really well. And that's what you don't see in the sport. You don't see two women, especially, yeah, getting together and trying to make the best out of both of each other. And she motivates me every single day. Um, I have a guest posting out Alabama this weekend and she's actually coming with me. Oh, cool. So it just, it just means a lot that she's always there for me, checking on me. And we're going to actually do the push training together the last three weeks. So I'm really excited for that. She's just a whole motivator, just a full of love. And she's been misunderstood just like I've been misunderstood. So yeah. it just means a lot. And we come from pretty much the same kind of background, you know? Yeah, no, I, I, I completely see how you guys can mesh with each other. I, I love Iris. Iris was one of the only people, she was very you know mistrusting of a lot of people and she only would interview with me because she knew that I obviously you know loved her and that I had our best interest at heart and I always wanted to bring out the best. But I just think that right. people didn't understand how hard Iris worked. You know, oh my God. I, I'd be afraid to train within the last three weeks before the Olympia. I got news for you. This girl, she doesn't, she's relentless in the gym. Yes, absolutely. You know that. I so, love it. It's the heart of iron. It's just amazing yeah. how she, how her mind operates. And I've, I've picked up a few things here and there from her. And it's just, I've pushed so much harder this prep. She's been such a big part of this prep. And she has no idea. <laughs> now they're talking about possibly bringing the Miss Olympia back. Do you think that Iris would, would, would compete again? Or do you think she's I told her enough? to get up on that stage. I told her to. She said, you think she well, wants it? Yeah. I think so too. There. I think so. Yeah, she's a competitive bodybuilder. I mean, she will definitely, I mean, she looks great still. Like, she trains just as hard in the gym every single night I see her. And, you know, if she wants to get up there and take it, she will. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I, I don't, and I still think there's no one out there who could beat her. That's the funny thing, you know. She's incredible. After it's 10 incredible. Olympia wins. So, yeah. Now, that's, that's something you see someone like Iris have the longevity that she had, which a lot of other great bodybuilding champions didn't have. Um, do you want to have that kind of longevity? Do you see yourself being in the sport and competing for 10 Olympia titles? I mean, well, you're uh, young enough. Life, <laughs> life is unexpected. You never know um, what will happen, what you'll end up doing. But I know I want to stay in the sport and on top for as long as I can. Yeah. No, that, that's a good. Now, you have, uh, you have some young, younger people. Usually we see. Older competitors versus younger competitors. Juliana Malacarni obviously was was in the in her forties, so she really didn't fit into your generation. But you know, you got Natalia Coelho now. You have a couple other girls that are upcoming uh, that are trying to obviously take that title away from you. I don't see it happening personally. But do you like the fact that that you see young talent now in in the women's physique division, um, oh, where it's not just the old older women that have been doing it for twenty years? Um, everyone has their time um, in the sport, and um, I feel you know once you reach a certain, a certain age and amount of years in the industry, you know you can retire, and that's all up to you. And I love seeing more younger girls come up in the industry because we need more youth, we need more um, enthusiasm there, and just more longevity in the sport as well. Now, since you've become Miss Olympia, had have there been more opportunities for you to make money to? to talk, you know, to be more of a leader and role model. I mean, I look at your Instagram, you got a lot of people following you and obviously liking all your pictures and stuff like that. Has that translated into more opportunity for you? I've been guest posing. I mean, I've had three, this is going to be my third guest posing um, this year. And I feel like every single year I'm supposed to gra um, graduate, um, gradually um, get more, accumulate more guest posting, more appearances. Mm -hmm. I have two appearances lined up ready for next year and more traveling next year only because you know we have to get your your voice out there and like yes i'm available for this yes i'm available for that you have to actually you know speak out more and that's something that i've never been accustomed to i'm more quiet you know low-key but um having my sponsors and everything um actually like you know try to get more like guest posing appearances and all that out it just gets my name out there more um and just people more accustomed and who I am when they meet me in person. So that's actually way better from branding myself. Yeah, no, and, and that's smart. And that's something that Iris never really did. Iris was more of a, you know, you wouldn't see her all year long. Yeah. And then you'd see her pop up at the Arnold, she'd win that, and then you, she'd disappear, and then you'd see her pop up for the Olympia, and, she would, and she'd win that. You right. seem to be putting yourself out there a lot more. Yeah, the whole thing is, um, and I, spoke, I was speaking with my sponsor about it, um, the whole thing is, 
when you're when you have this level of um, people, you know, looking at you and you're on the, you're on the top, you need to take advantage of it because you know you don't know how long you'll be up there. Yes, I'm working on clothing. Yes, I'm working on people learning more about who I am because they they only see me getting up on stages like Iris and and doing what I do. And I'm working on an Olympia series and more behind the scenes of what I do in the gym and just overall my life. You know, um, you, you know, animals always steal the show. You never let them on camera, right? <laughs> She's always nice to me. Um, but yeah, just more behind the scenes of who I am, because a lot of people just see me as this this person who works work works hard in the gym, and this gets on, up on stage, and you know, takes it. So more behind the scenes of who I am, and um, just how I how I am. Like I'm a nice person. I'm really nice. I'm actually um, baking brownies for this show this weekend. You are. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. I Don't love be dipping into those brownies. If Iris comes at you, you know she won't allow you, though. So that's oh, no absolutely. Problem. She's gonna try them for sure. She'll have you on um, lockdown. Now, when you moved out to Vegas, um, like I know you move a lot. Do you buy yourself a house? You rent? Like, what do you, what do you do when you go to these new cities? How do you? Because I know you, you like to move around a lot. I mean, so you, I would think that you probably wouldn't buy something, right? I owned a house in Chicago for two years, um, but then I moved out to Vegas and I started renting a, an apartment out here. Okay. It's really nice. Um, just just the the change in weather makes it easier to thrive more as a bodybuilder. I feel like, and I that's Absolutely. why like all the the great bodybuilders have resided to the west side, the west the west coast. It's Perfect out here. Uh, you don't have to tell and, me. I moved to Florida. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh here. yeah, Florida is just as good. I love yeah. it. You know, <laughs> get the snow. <laughs> you got the Olympia coming up in less than th about three weeks now. Obviously, uh, you're you know you're getting down to the final uh, throw, so to speak. You know, most people wouldn't travel when they get down to three weeks. That you're going and doing a guest posing. Um, yeah. I I, I perp. Per, I always tell people, if you have the ability to make money and make an appearance, you do it. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, a week out from a show. But um, you don't obviously have any problems with traveling. Talk, talk to us a no. little bit about how um, you regiment and bring your food with you. I mean, yeah, I mean, do you have to have, like, a system? Because obviously it's got to be a little stressful to have to travel that close to a show. I'm actually pretty content. Um, stress is never – like, my cortisol levels are always super calm. Um, and I feel like you're supposed to – try to control, learn to control that per year and get better at that per year. Um, my coach gave me the okay to travel at three weeks out. I'll be hitting three weeks out that Friday, this Friday. Mm -hmm. So um, as long as I get back home that Sunday, I'm fine. And I just wanted to go out to Alabama for the fans because that's a smaller, that's a smaller competitor town. Sure. And it, it means a lot to, like I had, I was, I was going to pull out from it, but I had a lot of people contacting me um, about like they're so excited to see me, and it just means a lot to fans when you come out and see them and meet them, and they can you know take pictures with you and all this stuff. Um, and at the end of the day, the fans do matter. Yeah, I'm actually <laughs> helping a few people in that show, and they were telling me that you're gonna, you're going to be there, and I was like surprised at first to hear that you. And, and then I and then it, I applauded you because I'm like you know what, that's pretty cool. You know that three weeks out from the Olympia, you're going and doing guest appearances, and I think. You can't turn down these opportunities because you never know where they can lead down the road. Now, exactly. just give us a give your sponsors. I know you mentioned your sponsors a few times. Who are they? Give them a little plug here. What was that? Who are your sponsors? I know you mentioned sponsors. Oh yeah, my sponsor um, Project AD. I've been with them. It's going to be two years this year, um, and I've been with Titan Grips. There's there are new companies like Grip Handle Company. Sure. I really love them. Actually, they help me with my biceps way more. Um, and, you know, hair sponsor, suit sponsor, all of them. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that I have a nice team going into No, the that's great. I'm, You're lucky. I'm super content, you know. You're lucky. It's, it's an awesome feeling. It, it, may, it allows you to train and not have to worry about paying the bills either, you know. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Now, your final question. You, I, you're into glam. I know that. You, you're, you're into the whole beauty, presentation, hair, makeup. You always look like you're, you're like a supermodel on stage. Thank Something you. that we haven't really seen that much in the women's bodybuilding side of things. Um, do you think that, would you like to see more women, you know, embracing that, not just the bikini and figure girls, would you like to see more of the women's physique and the bodybuilders embracing that that part of the sport? Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like it has a lot to do with just controlling what you use behind um, closed doors yeah, as well. Um, 
your coach matters. Some people do um, a little much and it messes everything up, but right. definitely more um, caring about your appearance uh, anywhere you go. Because I mean, I've, I've been to Target and somebody's come up to me and taken a picture and I was wearing like sweats and <laughs> no makeup. So um, anywhere I go and whatever I do, I always make sure that I look um, approachable. Oh yeah, so you always look like you're, you're ready to, to step on a runway somewhere. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> I, that means you take a lot of pride in the way you look. Always, yeah. I have a lot of skincare beauty products. In yeah, I was gonna say you should come out. That's what you should really come out with. Forget supplements. You should teach these girls how to do makeup. Come up with your own bodybuilding and fitness makeup line. You know. I was looking into um, cosmetology because that's yeah. something that um, I'm working on, of course. I, I think you'd be perfect for that. But anyway. Best of luck these next three weeks. Enjoy your guest posing down in Alabama. I know they're going to roll out the red carpet for you down there. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on that Olympia podium as the uh, two-time champion. Yes, absolutely. All right, Shanique, thanks for taking time out. And um, keep us updated if anything uh, happens or, you know, uh, you want to push anything or you want to get on the show and just talk to us because we love hearing about you. And I love the fact that you're really promoting the women's side of the sport. It really oh, is something, it's a always. breath of fresh air from previous champions. Right. It, absolutely. I always push us. We have to be up there for once. <laughs> yeah. No, you're doing it. You're doing it. Keep doing it the way you are. 24 years old, Shanique Grant, going for number two this coming September. Yes. That's going to take us, guys, to the end of another episode of RX Muscles Iron Road to the Olympia 2019, brought to you by Chemical Warfare. I'm Dave Palumbo. We'll see you next time.